everyone it's so good to be here again thank you so much for tuning in it is so surprising that uh, Oshomole is still in the heads of a lot of people because he seemed to still have some kind of credibility that people still want to use him and uh, some people are saying that he would make uh, a good running mate for these three politicians i don't know how true that is or how fair that could be because uh, perhaps maybe because he knows how to talk or i don't know what it is that people have seen that they believe that he should be a running mate to any of these three uh, politicians while they run for the country's presidency but we'll see details to why people had to see that and why they thought that uh, he would have been a very good running mate and really he could be picked as a running mate for any of uh, these uh, guys but before i give you details of these guys if you haven't subscribed to this channel please ensure you hit the subscribe button immediately and also give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on the notification bell because that is the best way you get notified anytime we drop a new video okay guys without further ado let us dive right in as it says nigeria needs a change though many people are in the ideology that the change is in the in the country's citizens still i believe that the change we need in nigeria is in the man that will rule the country as a president because the effect of his reign is what we lived with and whatever decision the president makes will surely affect the citizens of the country. In other words, a good president is needed for any country. But without a good running mate, you may not have a good seal. And Adi says, two heads are better than one, but two good heads are better, and the heads of the good can't be far-fetched, as they are nearer than what we think. Don't let us forge that the best person who can rule well in a country is someone who understands the country's people. Starting from understanding the country's political atmosphere, Nigeria has faced many personalities that have ruled. Some people have not been satisfied with some of their rules. While some are satisfied, it can be said that the number of people who have been satisfied is more than, more than the people who have been satisfied. The people want someone they can trust in a presidential seat that is why we're suggesting that these personalities or saying that these personalities can be be the next president of the country come 2023 and uh, the running mates that will be good for them as thought by the opinions of people is adams or shamole as they say is a very strong person in the all progressive congress and a personality who has a lot of influence in the country he was the former Edo state governor, though has some crisis with APC, and also believed he can be allowed to rule to keep having hedge in the country. And surely they will want to retain the presidency seat by giving his personality a chance. The presidential candidate should be Hamed Tinubu Bolaji, Bola Hamed Tinubu, as he has a lot of influence in Nigeria and he is prepared to run for the seat of presidency come 2023. However, influence alone is not needed to rule Nigeria, but having a good mind towards the country and we believe a man who is old and of that age will be with a good plan because he would have used the idea of an elder to foresee what Nigerians need and therefore be able to give it out to the country. I doubt, however, Tinubu as the president and Oshomala as the vice president would have made a lot of sense and that would be uh, the kind of change Nigeria needs. Unfortunately, that cannot happen. The people with the experience will do well on the seat that those who don't know how Nigerians are feeling. This is the opinion for most Nigerians that come election 2023, the reign will surely give Nigeria the best shape and also economic boost because these personalities have what it takes to be that. We saw the effect of Tinubu in Lagos and his impact in what took the state to where it is and the Shomole's effect is what pushed Edo to where it is now. They are capable of pushing Nigeria forward. Well, that is their opinion, but I don't think so because uh, it's, that is actually a great sarcasm as uh, it is because it is even a joke taking too far, thinking that, uh, you know, putting uh, Tinubu and, uh, 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 you know, Oshomole together as, you know, a team. That team would be disaster. I don't know how you see it, but for me, I think that would be uh, a disaster going somewhere to happen, if you say so. Because really, Tinubu is one heck of a man that, you know, though he has done well for APC, but 
he still has a lot of selfish interest that if he does not have anything to gain in it, he will not be involved. Yes, we've seen a lot of cases like that. And Oshomole is nothing far from that. So they are just like birds of the same feather. I don't know who is going to be loyal to the other because the Shomala is someone that also talks a lot and just wants to show that he can make things happen. Imagine how he imposed candidates from different states. Even when the party is against it, he would still stand his ground to say that this is exactly what he wants. And just because he's the chairman then, people cannot really, you know, they cannot uh, tell him exactly what to do. He was fully in charge. He doesn't even like suggestions from people. He doesn't want people to tell him uh, what to or who should be in charge or who should be the next candidate. He just feels, oh, this particular person can do it. Let me use this person. I'm forgetting what the party wants. So somebody like that working with, you know, Tinubu, that is also a selfish person. I wonder where the country will head to. The country will actually head to disaster at the end of it all because whatever Nigerians are seeing today will just be a tip of the iceberg because what they've seen will just be, you know, very small to what they are going to see in future because these guys are so selfish. That was why Oshomole was not even in good terms with Obaseki because he felt that this guy should have been loyal and give him everything he needed while he was running that office. But, the, you know, Basaki understood that it is not possible. This is what the people want. And I cannot give you what is meant for everybody for only you. And, you know, that was what actually caused their problem. And up to this very moment, that rift is still not settled. We are yet to find who is going to settle that. Even while they were in the same party, the president tried, the party tried, party members tried, the 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 king from um, Benin tried and every other person, but yet no one is saying, Oshomale cannot even mention why he's having such a rift with Obaseki. But Obaseki have explained that this guy wants the treasury of the state and I cannot just release it for him just because he feels he has become a godfather to the state or he has done a lot of things in the state and I should just let things go by. So, and you know, Tinubu, Tinubu is one man that he has been alleged so many times of packing bullion vans and people have been saying those bullion vans are filled with money in it in its compound for years and nobody has done anything about it so imagine if you have such group of people as president and vice president oh my god total disaster but i don't know what you think about this because there might be some very good sites you know about them that you really want to talk about. You can also drop it in the comment section. Yes, everyone is here to learn. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.